Hey foodies, Chill Brown Vegan here. It's the perfect time of year for a sweet treat. Today we are making vegan banana pudding. It's easy, it's delicious, it takes less than 15 minutes to throw it together, so let's get cooking. The first thing you're going to need is some jello. Yes, jello. This is accidentally vegan. I'm using the banana cream flavor. I'm just gonna pour that packet into a bowl. Next, you're going to need some plant milk. I am using vanilla flavored almond milk. Feel free to use whatever you have or whatever you prefer. I am just mixing this in slowly because I don't want to have any clumps. So in total, I used two cups of this vanilla flavored almond milk. I'm pouring it in a half a cup at a time and then whisking until smooth. Yes, whisking. It would not be a chill brown vegan video if I wasn't whisking. So here we are, we are whisking it all together. As you can see, it's not very thick yet, but you just want to set it aside and let it rest and it will thicken up as time goes on. In the meantime, get you a clean glass container. We are gonna start building up our layers. So for the first layer, we are not using the wafer cookies. We are using Lorna Dune because they are also accidentally vegan and they are intentionally delicious. You just want to line the bottom of your dish with a single layer of the cookies. Make sure they are touching. Try not to leave any gaps. Just fill it up as best you can. In the second layer, we are going to be using a fresh banana. Now you don't want it to be too hard. You don't want it to be all gushy. You just want a nice ripe banana. You're just gonna cut it up layer it on top, and then we'll move on to the next step. Go ahead and grab that banana pudding mixture we made earlier. It has thickened up slightly. It's not quite there yet, but we are gonna fix that right now. What I'm using is this Cocoa Whip from So Delicious. And let me tell you, it is so delicious. It is just like whipped cream. You're gonna go ahead and put some of that into your banana pudding mixture. I am using a half a cup here. You're just gonna give it a nice little mix up. You want everything combined. I don't know why I was doing it with a spatula. I don't know why I was playing games, but when I was ready to get down to business, I got my whisk out and I whipped it up. And you just wanna make sure that it's nice and creamy like so, and you can go ahead and set that aside. And bring back your cookie and banana dish. Now what we're gonna do here is you're just gonna pour about half of your banana pudding mixture on top of your bananas and cookies. You wanna make sure everything gets covered. You wanna get it in every crack and crevice, every corner. You just want it to all be in a nice, even layer. So go ahead and spread that out. Then we're gonna add another layer of the Lorna Dune cookies, as well as another layer of the banana. So I believe in total I used two bananas, possibly two and a half, but I think it was two. Go ahead and cut the bananas and put them on top. Organize it how you like. And then you're gonna pour in the rest of the banana and whipped cream mixture that we just made. Go ahead, spread it out, make sure it's nice and even as before. Clean up any mess if you made a mess. And then the rest of the coconut cool whip, we're gonna go ahead and put that on top. Yes, we are using that whole container. You're just gonna put it on top of your mixture and spread it out. Make sure that is also in a nice layer all the way across and nice and smooth. When you're done, you're gonna set it in the fridge so that it can thicken up. Then you're gonna take a few more cookies and a rolling pin and you're just gonna let out all of your anger and frustration, anybody who's been getting on your nerves, anything that's been bothering you, go ahead and let it all out until those cookies are crushed. Then bring back your banana pudding mixture. I like to put a little bit of cinnamon on top. You don't have to do this, this step is optional, but I think it just gives it a nice little, I don't know, cozy fall kind of feeling, if you will. And then here I am sprinkling on the cookies that we just pulverized, making it look nice and pretty, arrange it how you like, and ta-da, you're done. You have the banana pudding. Go ahead and sit it in the fridge overnight and it is ready to eat. Okay, so here's the finished product. Gonna give it a taste. First bite. Mm -hmm. This makes me really happy. It's like taking a trip down memory lane. I haven't had banana pudding since I was a little girl and this just gives me 
all the feels. Now I know your southern grandmother probably made it from scratch, but this is quick, it's easy, it's cheap, and it's delicious. The Lorna Dune goes really, really, really well with this, so I'm really happy about that. Now banana pudding is a very iconic dish, and everyone knows that vanilla wafers go with it, but they're not vegan, so you gotta make do with what you have. I know there are probably vegan vanilla wafers out there somewhere, or you could make it yourself, but the whole point of this recipe was to be quick and easy, and it was not easy to find vanilla wafers, so we went with the Lorna Dunes, and they are delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my banana pudding. I really hope you guys give it a try. It is so good and I, I feel cooler already. But before you go, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.